Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. So today I decided to do a video on hand disinfection uh, using hand sanitizer or hand washing. Now, the video is actually about uh, which is better, hand sanitizer versus hand washing, which is better. Uh, the reason I decided to do this video is because I've had a couple of people ask me that question. And secondly, my daughter keeps coming here to use my little pocket hand sanitizer here. Uh, in the house and I told her off. I'll tell you the reason why I told her off uh, later in this video. But before I give you my verdict on which is better between hand sanitizer versus hand washing, uh, let me give you snippets of information regarding both. Uh, and please do pay attention because you might think you know everything about both. But uh, in life, we are always learning and uh, you might pick up one or two things that you probably didn't know uh, until today. So uh, I'll start off with hand sanitizer. Uh, what type should you use? Well, ideally it's gotta be alcohol based. If you're gonna use your hand sanitizer for the purpose of uh, killing viruses or bacteria in your hands, well, it's gotta be alcohol based. And ideally the alcohol concentration should be between 60 to 80%. And I did give the reason why the concentration should be uh, between 60 to 80% in my last video. If you didn't watch that video, uh, the, there's gonna be a link to it uh, in the later part of this video. So that's the first thing. Now, the next thing uh, is about uh, duration. How long should you use your alcohol-based hand sanitizer for? Well, you'd be surprised to know that ideally, uh, you have to use your alcohol-based hand sanitizer for 20 seconds. Yes, the same rule applies, just like with hand washing. You have to apply the alcohol-based hand sanitizer for at least 20 seconds as well, uh, for the virus to be inactivated or the bacteria to be killed off. So that's one rule to uh, obey. What about the frequency? How often should you use use your alcohol-based hand sanitizer for? Well, ideally, you should use it as often as it's needed. Anytime your hands have been in contact with a surface that you think potentially will transmit viruses or bacteria to your hands, well, use your alcohol-based hand sanitizer uh, to disinfect your hands. Oh, and by the way, it is the alcohol that does the killing. That's the reason why any hand sanitizer that you choose has to have alcohol in it. Now, next is technique. And this is where uh, people fall flat uh, with using alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Um, well, the technique is essentially as with hand washing. So uh, this is a pocket hand sanitizer that go with me here. So you should apply a generous amount of the alcohol-based hand sanitizer in your hands. And the technique is essentially the same as with hand washing. I've already told you, you gotta apply it for 20 seconds. So you apply it generously in your hands between your fingers, okay? To the back of your hands, both hands, okay? Apply it, you know, between the fingers. And then now apply it to the fingers and the fingernails. Gotta rub that, okay? And now to the middle of the palm of your hand, both, do that and then work your way up the thumb. You gotta apply it on the thumb, both thumbs, okay? And then next, from the back of the hand, extend to your wrist. This is the correct way. Make sure is for at least 20 seconds, okay? Technique, essentially the same. Apply generously, this is how to use your alcohol hand-based sanitizer for uh, hand disinfection. So can you use alcohol-based hand sanitizer all the time? Well, there are occasions when uh, using alcohol-based hand sanitizer will be inappropriate. And when is that? Well, when you've got grease or mucus on your hands, that would be the wrong time to use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. The reason is that the grease or the mucus actually forms a protective shield around the virus or the bacteria, and that protective shield prevents the alcohol from actually getting into the virus or the bacteria to inactivate it. So that would be the wrong time to use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Your best option then is actually hand washing. And that brings me nicely to hand washing. Well, for hand washing to be effective, you have to use the right technique. Uh, because people just rub their hands in water with soap and then 
they just move on that is wrong you have to use the right technique and the right technique is what i've demonstrated for you a short while ago uh, using the alcohol based hand sanitizer so the right technique is very important so can you use just plain water well ideally you need to use soap but if there's no soap available uh, a halfway house is just using uh, your plain water but ideally soap all the time next question does it have to be antibacterial soap well not necessarily any soap will do it doesn't have to be antibacterial a non-antibacterial soap will also suffice so for hand disinfection purposes does it have to be bar soap or does it have to be liquid soap well it really doesn't matter bar soap liquid soap soapy soap any soap will do what about the water does it have to be warm or cold uh, ideally warm water but if there is no hot water available of course use the cold water that is available it is the soap that does the killing soap is a very effective way to uh, get rid of viruses and bacteria from your hands here is a little video animation of how soap does its job what happens is when you got viruses on your hands and you want to get rid of them with soap you apply the soap on your hands form a lather and then you start washing your hands uh, with water the soap molecules now uh, interact with the coating of the virus penetrates to the yellow layer which is the fatty layer dissolves it and that exposes the internal content of the virus and then you wash away the entire content and then you end up with disinfected clean hands and now to my final verdict uh, between using soap uh, and water to wash your hands to disinfect your hands or using alcohol based hand sanitizer to disinfect your hands which is better well this is the superior choice using soap and water to wash your hands is a superior choice to using alcohol based hand sanitizer for hand disinfection the reason is that when you use soap and water uh, to wash your hands first of all as you saw in the video animation you destroy the virus or the bacteria first of all and then the next thing is you wash the entire content into the seaway system so you're not only destroying the bacteria or the virus you actually are getting rid of it into the seaway system so this is by far the superior choice of course if there's no soap or water available that's when you should be using alcohol based sanitizer so this is option number one and this is option number two and that's the reason i told my daughter off because when you're at home of course you know you got water supply you got soap in the house uh, why on earth should you be using alcohol based hand sanitizer you should be using uh, soap and water to wash your hands when you are at home uh, because it is the superior choice hopefully you got some value from this video if you did as usual please give the video a thumbs up uh, please like the video if you got any questions any comments uh, leave them down below uh, please share this video with anybody whom you think will benefit from it uh, which means everybody really if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell and i think that's about it for this video until next time well this is dr joe signing out